Hello! So I am so excited. Today I am going to show you how to use um, the wonderful um, chromatics that Jamberry has. Um, and if you haven't heard, chromatics is launching for a second time tonight. Um, at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, I'm really, really excited because this product is so versatile um, for people who love some nail art and for just kind of making each mani that you have a little unique and a little creative. So to get started, obviously, you're gonna need some of the chromatics um, and then you're just gonna need either um, lacquer, some gel, if you still have some of our color cure, um, that works too. Um, basically any of the products that you can put a top coat on, okay? Um, can you put this over wraps? Yes, absolutely. Um, and uh, if you do put it over wraps, you're just gonna need some sort of top coat over that as well, okay? So go grab what you need, um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started in showing you how to apply chromatics. Okay, so I have already prepped my nails, um, and then I actually applied some wraps already. So you can see I actually applied some black. These are our matte black, solid black um, nail wraps. Um, for me, I like to um, wear wraps under my gel. It's just kind of something I enjoy doing. Um, it makes the removal a breeze. Um, literally, I can have all of my um, stuff off of my nails within probably one minute if I have um, a nail wrap under my gel, okay? Um, and for me, um, I can either use a completely uh, clear wrap that we have if I'm doing kind of a brighter color gel, um, or if I'm doing a darker color, I'll use black. Um, if I'm doing like a red, I kind of use one of our red tone solid wraps. Um, just something to kind of enhance um, and make it less coats of gel that I would need, but that's just my personal preference. Um, you can just put gel directly on your nail if the removal doesn't bother you. Um, and you can even just use a clear gel um, for all colors of gel if you wanted. So this is just a kind of a tip from me that um, if you don't like to sit there and put a bunch of coats of um, color on, um, you can kind of cheat and make your um, wrap underneath kind of give a little uh, help um, in those coats. I want to be using our black True Shine, um, which is black onyx today. So I thought, hey, I'll start with a black wrap. Um, so then I'll basically just need one coat of color just to kind of give it a little pop. Um, and then I'll be good to go, okay? So my nails are ready. I've got my gel ready. I've got my chromatics ready. Let's do it, okay? okay. So I'm ready to go. I have got my base coat that we are gonna do first. And if you have not used our True Shine Gel, I'm telling you, you are missing out. It is an amazing, amazing product line. Um, it is eight free gel, which is pretty unheard of in the industry. Um, eight free meaning that it, um, is um, does not have any of the eight worst, you know, cancer-causing chemicals that you would normally find um, in other gels or any really other nail product. You see it in regular nail polish. Um, you see it um, in so so much formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin, camphor, toluene, um, all these awful things that can cause cancer. So these are eight free. So if you can see, I'm just doing a really thin coat. I also love to just kind of swipe along my tips. Um, now I kind of have longer-ish nails. If you don't have longer-ish nails, basically just take your brush and kind of do a, a backwards brush on the tips, kind of like I just did, um, and then go from the cuticle and up, okay? And that will also help to kind of cap your tips as well, okay? so. This is, like I said, just the base coat. Um, since I have longer-ish nails, I'm just doing my tips. This is a pretty thin coat. You probably can't tell in this video, but it is pretty thin. Um, you don't need thick, thick gel, okay? So you can see I've got it on all of my fingers. So I'm gonna use this amazing, amazing lamp here. Um, and this just basically, in here, will take 30 seconds to cure. Um, and I can put my whole hand inside. If you um, have our old lamp, well, it's not really our old lamp, but it's a smaller lamp. Um, it's purple. Um, that will work too, but it will be a 45 second cure time versus 30 seconds. And you can only do your four fingers at a time and you have to do your thumb separately. So this uh, lamp is actually a little bit quicker to use because um, it's a quicker cure time. And also, um, um, you can get all of your hand in at once. Okay, so I've done my base coat. Now I'm gonna do um, a color coat. Let me go ahead and open up 
open that up. Okay. And because I put that black wrap underneath, I am only really probably gonna need one coat of um, black gel, which is kind of nice, right? Because it's a darker color, so a lot of times if you're trying to put on black gel, it can take several coats to get that um, color right. And again, always swiping at my tips um, because you want to cap your tips. If you're somebody who gets a lot of chips, it's probably because you're not capping your tips. Um, so I see how I just kind of swipe at the tips. It's probably hard to tell that I'm putting this on because it's a black wrap underneath, but um, I'm not putting it on thick. You can see I got a little bit on my skin here. I'll just usually take my other thumb. You can also use a cuticle stick and clean it up. It's always best to clean it up before you cure it. If you try to clean it up after you cure it, um, good luck to you. <laughs> it won't work. Um, it'll be very difficult. You're gonna have to bust out some acetone, kind of let it soak. It's kind of annoying. So it's always super, super easy though. If you just do it before, um, before it, you put it in the lamp, because it comes right off very, very easily. Okay, and the thumb. Always getting those tips. If you have long nails, yeah, it's easier to cap your tips, but make sure you, uh, even on those short nails, just do the reverse um, swipe you can still cap the tips. Okay, so I've got one coat of color. You can see I'm not gonna need another one. It's pretty well covered. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for about 30 seconds. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna let this go for 30 seconds um, with the color. And uh, then we're gonna move on to the next step, which I'm really excited about. Almost there. And this is so much easier than using the purple lamp, even though the purple lamp totally gets the job done. This is just quicker, okay? And realistically, there is a 30 second thing on here, so the light can go off at 30 seconds. I just apparently am not doing it while I'm showing you. <laughs> but it is an option, okay? So you can see, I got this, it's all cured. Okay, now I like to put um, a top coat on. Some people go straight into the chromatics, um, and that would be fine, but I like to put a top coat on just to kind of really seal in my color um, and make sure I don't lose any of the vibrancy of the color. So again, quick seal of my tips and a very thin layer. Um, and in case you need the reminder, if you have the short nails, you're gonna do the reverse swipe like that and then go from cuticle to tip. Okay, makes a big difference guys, I tell you if you cap your tips. All right, so I'm just kind of busting through here, super quick. All right, so I'm just done. This goes pretty quick, um, really, really quick. And if you haven't seen, we have so many True Shine colors, um, which makes this really fun to be able to just kind of play around with different colors and have it be long lasting and not have a bunch of chemicals. Okay, so again, this time I'll actually hit the 30 seconds so you can kind of see. It counts it down and then it'll turn the light off for us at the end, which is wonderful because then uh, we don't have to pay attention, right? <laughs> Getting close now. And if you're really lucky, you might be able to hear my daughter singing in the background. Mom life, right? <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right, see, so now the color is sealed in. If I was to touch this right now, guys, though, this would be tacky. It would feel like it's wet, but it's not. If I was completely done and not gonna add anything to this, um, I would just take our nail prep solution and wipe this down to remove the tacky feeling. 
Um, but I'm going to be uh, putting on some chromatics, so I don't actually um, want to take away that tacky feeling. That that, that will kind of help it um, stick really well. So next is chromatics. Okay, so here's our chromatics. Um, it comes in a cute little pouch like this, um, with obviously the chromatics and then a little applicator. And I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to take out our applicator and the cute little jar. Now, just a little tip. If you can see this too, by the way, the applicator is very much like one of those like sponge eyeshadow brush things. So if for some reason you need to replace it, you can totally replace it. It's not a big deal. Um, but with these chromatic powders, they can get messy, okay? So when you open it, it's got like a little um, plastic film on it to kind of keep it all contained. A lot of people go and just try to remove that whole plastic film. I find it much better if I take like my nail scissor and I kind of just puncture it. Make a tiny little hole. Um, just basically big enough to be able to slip my applicator brush inside. Um, because, yeah, I don't want to make a mess, so I'm just creating a much smaller hole to be able to kind of wedge this in. And sometimes I'll just kind of move it a little bit to make it fit easily. So once you've dipped it in, you can start applying. So for me, I just kind of want to add a little on my tips here, kind of make it ombre-ish. Um, you'll see I'm going to go back and kind of play with these more. I wanted to kind of remove some of this. You can kind of see, isn't this kind of cool? How it kind of turns it like a metallic. I don't know if you can see super well with the lighting or not but you can kind of hopefully see how it added that to my tips. Just a nice little glisten, like a metallic-y look. Um, you know, and you can, I mean, I'm just doing the tips here on this, but you know, you can totally do a whole nail. So, like I'll show you here. I'm gonna make this one like a whole thing. And I find like the more that I kind of rub it in, um, the better it comes out. It becomes more chromey, if that makes sense, um, than anything. So see, so yeah. and it doesn't really matter if it gets on your skin um, because after you're done, you can just wash your hands and it'll come like right off. So I don't know if you can see. Tell you uh, what you think of that. See the difference? Isn't that really cool? And you can do this with any of our chromatics. This particular one is ultraviolet, um, and it's just a really neat look. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do my whole nail or kind of leave it be as an ombre. Um, so hard to decide, right? Cool. I'll probably do my whole thumb at least over here. Some people dab and that's fine too. When I am trying to get more of a chromey look than a sparkle look, I find that the like rubbing does better. So that's why I'm rubbing because for this particular look, that's what I want. Oops, I'm a little bit to the side, sorry. Isn't that cool? It's a totally, totally different look than just the black um, that I had on before, right? So, that's kind of how that looks. So you can see I did a whole nail, and then it's just my tips here. Um, you can see it was really easy, and I didn't make a huge, huge mess. Um, if you're worried about making a huge, huge mess, um, you can always use a little mat like I did here. Um, now at this point, I'm not done. I do need to put a top coat on, um, but I just want you to be able to see what that looks like. 
Okay, so now we can just put on um, our top coat, okay? Um, if you like your nails a little thicker, you can always do a base coat top coat. It doesn't have to be just a top coat, um, but my nails are pretty thick right now, so I'm good. I'm just gonna put a top coat on. Um, again, just using my gel. Um, just be aware that there could be some transfer of the um, actual chrome powder onto your actual brush. So I like to have a special top coat just to use on my chromatics, but that's just me. Um, you know, if you don't like, or if you don't mind adding a little sparkle sometimes to random manis, you're totally fine with just using yours. Um, but I just want to be um, sure I tell you that it can transfer, so um, just be cautious of that. So I'm just doing, again, sealing in those tips. I haven't mentioned that enough. It's very important, right? Uh, all right. We're so close to being done, guys. That's crazy. You can see it's not a very thick coat, um, but I am just always making sure my tips are sealed. Nobody wants some chip nails, right? You want some salsa to go with that chip? <laughs> I love that one. All right. I bet you didn't know you were gonna get a comedy show at the same time. Just kidding. <laughs> I know, my humor is terrible. But, I mean, I like chips and salsa. Everybody likes chips and salsa. Nobody likes chips in their nails. Right? I know, right? You're shaking your head. You're saying this. I know you are. Oops, I'm not trying to cure it yet. Not like it's a bad thing, but I'm just trying to finish. So you can see. Tap, tap, tap. And then the nail itself. If you ever over cap your tips, let's say, um, and you would know if you over cap them in the sense of you'll have a pool of gel under your nail, it won't feel good. So I would just take your nail cuticle stick and kind of clean it out before you cure. So see, I just got my top coat on. Um, again, 30 seconds just to cure this up. I think it's my countdown. So you can see. We're so close to being done. And just while that's curing, um, I'll tell you, this one that I showed you was ultraviolet, but guys, we have two other ones too. One is Aura, you can see here, and the other one is Flare. So Flare is like a thicker coverage, almost think like um, mirror metallic, um, like it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot thicker coverage. So if you put a color underneath, you're not going to see much of that color. But ultraviolet and aura, you will see the color, um, and it just adds a little something special. Aura, in my opinion, is a lot lighter of a change, um, but I mean, gorgeous. It's just not where like the ultraviolet has that ultraviolet um, kind of color changing property to it. Um, aura kind of gives it an aura. I mean, it, it's kind of self-explanatory, I guess, huh? Um, so yeah, it's it's very different things, and if you really wanted you can even end up taking like the tops off and screwing them if you get all three and making them like a cute little stacked thing um, so I would recommend it because there's so many things that you can do with these you can see like I created that ombre effect on some um, and on the other one there you can see I did the whole nail um, you can do a reverse ombre where like maybe you just put some of the um, the chromatic like by the cuticle um, there's so much you can do and you know play with and again you can still just use a wrap um, and then use the powder on top of the wrap um, and then just do a um, a top coat on that um, and it can be a lacquer it can be color cure it can be gel whatever um, but one you need a top coat it just has to be some sort of top coat. Obviously, the longer lasting ones will be like the gel or the color cure than a lacquer top coat. Um, and that's kind of, I know, common sense um, in the sense that, you know, lacquer top coats are not um, as long lasting as like a gel or a color cure. But um, it is an option. You can also just use regular polish that you have 
and use the chromatics over that and then put a top coat. Um, I mean, there's just so many options. Um, you can even just apply the chromatics directly to your natural nail and then put a top coat. Um, I mean, there's really nothing that you can do wrong with these as long as you're putting them on your nail. We've once had somebody say, oh, can I put them on my eyes? They look like eyeshadows. No, don't put it on your eyes. That's the only thing I'd say. <laughs> it's definitely for your nails. Um, but yeah, so many different things you can do. I hope you can kind of see, let me see if I can get some extra light in here. tell now the coloring isn't that just amazing to go from just plain old black to that it's a whole different look right so lots of things you can do um, I hope this has been helpful um, in all of this and oh you know I should tell you because I did do a gel um, you always do want to wipe down your gel with our nail prep cleanser after because remember what I said earlier, it feels like it's wet, but it's not. It's just tacky and that's just how it works. So you always just wipe it down at the end so you don't feel like it's wet. And then you're good to go. Like, I mean, you can do anything, you're good. And that's how you get a gorgeous chromatics mani. So how can you get chromatics? Well, let me tell you, get on to, um, my website or your consultant's website um, tonight, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, and get your chromatics ASAP. Um, they sold out pretty fast last time. Um, I think the first one that sold out might have even been Ultraviolet. I'm trying to remember. It was either Ultraviolet or Aura, um, one of the two, but it doesn't mean that Flare won't sell out um, right away either. I think Flare might have lasted um, like a day or two. Um, but I do expect these to sell out. So if you want to get your hands on some chromatics or get the chromatics on your hands, get on your consultant's website or my website tonight um, and get your order in. If you are a style VIP, you get 15% off of this. Um, it's, it's amazing. So they're usually $25 each, um, but as a style VIP, you get 15% off, okay? If you order two, that's a good thing. Um, because you're getting closer to that $50 threshold of um, free shipping, okay? So get all three and you definitely have your free shipping and you get your 15% off as a style VIP. If you're not a style VIP, girl, become one. Um, it's really inexpensive, $15 for the year and you get 15% off all year long and free shipping on any order over $50. So this is the time, sign up for style VIP, get yourself some chromatics, have some fun with it. These things have so, they're, they're kind of small, but they have so much powder on it. Um, I don't know how I'm ever gonna get through this whole bottle of it. Um, it's gonna last a long, long time. Um, it really, really will. So don't be afraid um, and feel like, well, am I only gonna get a couple manis? No, you're gonna get a lot of manis out of this. Um, if you saw, I barely put any onto my little applicator um, and it went a long, long ways. So let's do it, guys. I'll kind of give you, a, this is the difference. Black, gorgeous, ultraviolet. Big difference, okay? All right, get it tonight. Don't miss out, it's gonna sell out, okay? Bye, guys.